What up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ford Air. You got me, Salman here. And today we're gonna be checking out Salvage to Savage, which is uh, one of my buddy Mikey's shops. Been excited, he's up here. South, uh, he's South Florida, but north of me, he's about 45 minutes. Little line up out here. And they've been working on a 73 F100. Can't wait to check it out. So here we are. Hello, Mikey. Man, this place is super cool. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? What up, what up? Welcome Cha -ching over here. Yeah. He's back in the, uh, the garage over there. Oh, let's, let's try to find him. There he is. What's up, Mikey? Hey, Solomon. He drove down. All right. Catch you guys in a second. Say what's up. All right. So I got a little bit of the pre-tour, but now Mikey's going to show us around. What's up, guys? Welcome to S2S Speed Shop. Dude, it's nice to be here. This Thank place you, is dude. really, really like aesthetically pleasing. Not only that, but like, whoa. I mean, it's a vibe, man. It's a vibe for sure. It really is. I wish I was closer. I'd be here way more often. Uh oh. <laughs> there's a there's a time limit on guests that come here. There you go. Yeah, we, we got to get you in and out, or else we don't get any work done. Well, this is our uh, this is our showroom slash clean room, depending on the projects and what we're doing. And it also is uh, is Kyle's media space. So there's Kyle over there. What up? That's our that's our king king dingling media uh, superhero. Um, he's usually sitting over there editing vi editing videos or taking pictures or something cool. Yeah, and if you guys don't already check out their YouTube channel, that's uh, pretty much what Kyle works on all the time. And they've got some pretty trick stuff. And lately, they've been posting a lot about the Ford that we're gonna check out. And uh, make sure to check it out. Yeah, Salvage the Savage. A lot of Ford stuff on there right now. But don't get it mixed up, man. We are we are Chevy uh, we are a Chevy crew here. Well, this this is one heavy Chevy right here. <laughs> Tell me this little bit of setup over here. What are we looking at? I don't know too much. I know it's ah, LS. This is a simple little LS1 build with a twin uh, 60 millimeter Nelson um, mirror image turbos. Uh, we got to turn down low boost right now. I think we're making like 12 pounds, putting out about 700 at the wheel. Nice. That's yeah. a good drivable yeah, range. Yeah, it's fun. Um, you know, with, a, with an air ride, you know, there's only so much you can do. Um, so we, we are in the in the talks of possibly putting some new turbos on it and new fuel inject uh, new injectors and turning up the boost and making a thousand horsepower. We talked about changing out the uh, the air ride into a static you know some coilovers, but I think um, aesthetically for this truck being that it's a long bed, we're gonna keep the air ride. We might switch over to uh, airlift. Okay. Um, instead of the AccuAir. And put on some uh, heavy duty, heavy duty bags, so that way maybe we could, you know. And, and then JC is going to make us a, a a new Watts link. Nice. So that way we could kind of get a little more saucy with it. Hell yeah, yeah. I like the airlift stuff personally. Plus my boys now their new uh, marketing oh, yeah. guy, Mike. Yeah, so. that's. I actually emailed him today. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah, Mike's. He's my mentor. I love that guy. Maybe you should call him while you're here because he didn't he, he didn't email me back. All right. Hey, Mike, you're probably not watching, but if you do, <laughs> email him back. Let's go, Mikey. So, so what do we got in here? the shop. Um, these are our two uh, kind of secret SEMA projects behind me over here. Um, we got our twin turbo LS powered DeLorean. <laughs> Whoa. And then over here, we have a uh, twin Tesla motor C10. That's crazy. Yeah. I was looking this thing over. Um, when I turned the camera off, I was just walking around looking at the stuff before turning it back on. And uh, this thing's gonna be crazy. I mean, you can see all these little dots are for some 3D stuff that they're doing and it's yeah. gonna be nuts. I can't we, wait uh, to see this. We were fortunate enough to team up with Peel 3D. They sent us a, a, a 3D scanner. So we're, we scanned all this and we have, um, we have some really cool wide body features getting made for these two vehicles. I can't wait to check it out. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. There's Andrew over there. Say hi, Andrew. Hey, not working on the floor. Bow tie over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this is a this is a uh, supercharged all-wheel drive SS Trailblazer. Dude, these should make some pretty big power. Hell yeah! I always loved the way that those looked. That's awesome. And uh, let's get to the goodies. Yeah. We're already, you know, we're we're sneaking them. Here's, Man, here's the goodie. That you it looks so it. good. I love the patina on this thing too. She's sharp. Man, you guys did such a nice job. Whipple Supercharger, Coyote, the uh, billet valve covers from JC. 
those really dress it up nice. Tim did a great job on the inner fenders and all the covers and everything yeah. too. Yeah, it looks sharp. Man, all the polished, what is it, Cerakoted? No. Uh, you talking about the supercharger? Yeah. No, it's just it's painted um, just triple bronze to match nice. our, our wheel setup from Boston. Okay. Dude, it looks awesome. What size are those Bostons? Uh, it's nine, 19 by uh, 9 in the front and uh, 21 by 11 in the back. So What's we're running, the... a, running a 315 Pirelli in the back and a 255 in the front. What's the suspension? This is a, it's a complete Hides kit. Uh, that we installed here. Uh, it's coil overs. Oh yeah. Tim Tim made these uh, pretty pretty badass uh, tubs in the back. You guys do a really good job with the Fotina. Yeah. It's kind of my thing. I was gonna change my Instagram name to Mikey Fotina, but I don't know. <laughs> Mikey Rolls has a good good roll over. Oh. For sure. In Florida, it might mean a different thing though. <laughs> Dude, the interior is gorgeous. Can I open it up? Yeah. Absolutely. Go ahead, give it a, give it a nice. Set. Super comfortable. All I will TMI. tell you, that's one thing I do like about the Fords, for all you Ford fans. Um, a lot of room in here compared to the C10s that I'm used to driving. Dude, I love what you did with the dashboard. I've had very similar ideas. Is that JC hooked it up or? Well, JC made these for us. Everything else we made in house. Wow. We got the new auto meters in there. Dude, that's sick. Dude, this interior is super cool. I love what you did with it. Thank you. Wow. Even the headliner is nice. Yeah. So is it a full TMI kit or just the seats or TMI? Uh, TMI seats, buddy console, but we we actually customized them a little bit. Um, and then I just ordered like four yards of their same leather so we could wrap some of the stuff ourselves. Um, the door panels, the, this section from, from TMI, this was done by our, our local upholsterer guy. Nice. Yeah, so we kind of just tied it all together. These these kick panels were made here at the shop and, and upholstered by our buddy Chino. Sweet. A badass low car shifter. The iPad charging station is pretty cool. Oh, that's really cool. You got your phone? I do. Just throw it on there. Maybe it's my case. Yeah. Probably. Big old case doesn't work. Nope. Dude, that's badass. I'm assuming it's full, resto, resto mod air conditioning. Resto mod, yeah. We got a full Rockford Fosgate system, which this thing is crystal clear, man. Really impressed with the way it came out. Man. And you guys don't worry, we're gonna do a full what the truck with this, so you'll you'll see it shake down. Truck's not 100 percent done, they still gotta put on the dyno. That's the only reason why we're not doing it today. But uh it's we'll pretty it rad. <laughs> supercharger like that a lot of times you can't really hear it what i'm assuming you guys have made a full custom exhaust yeah yeah uh tim did a full full headers all the way back to some stainless brother um uh, mufflers and then uh two uh two exits going out like that but we actually might redo them the customer kind of wanted to see the tips come out of the side of the truck so we might do like a like a nascar style tip do, do the fender uh yeah do the, do the back of the Right, right in front of the wheel right here. Okay. Dude, those are great for burnouts too because it blows the smoke so it makes it... This thing's going to be a burnout machine. Hey, don't threaten me with a good time. Yeah, right? That's awesome. So what else do you guys do here at the shop? Can we even show them a little bit of the C10 or not really? Oh, we're, we're kind of trying not to really. keep it under wraps for now. All right, well, here you guys look, C10. That's <laughs> C10. <laughs> well, it is, I'll tell you, it is a, a full custom chassis. Um, you know, we got a full Tesla uh, rear cradle, the Model S cradle in the back, a Model 3 battery pack, and then uh, same same jazz in the front with a, a Corvette uh, suspension. That's awesome. All the cool parts. Just don't, just don't be able to the red ring. No problem. I saw that thing. That thing was nuts. Yeah. Man, I'm more impressed about all the tools that you got in here. See, I, I love looking at nice tools. Yeah, it's, you know, you got this, uh, Arclight plaza table, 
this year when we moved into this new shop. Um, we're really kind of just starting to get a hang of it, honestly. Um, we, we were able to cut very like basic shapes, but uh, Donnie is taking the uh, taking the reins and he's kind of learning the programming side of it a little bit. Hell yeah, it's gonna make it really nice with having that right here. Yeah. Need something, cut it out, boom, got a badass looking bracket. That's it. Hell yeah. Man, this is such a sweet setup you guys have over here. You guys can't see this rendering, but man, when you when you see yeah. this truck, just know. You can see it. Look. Here, look. You see, see how badass it is? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, I think that's probably that's probably it, right? We're not gonna show them too much more. Most of that extra stuff's top secret. Yeah, I mean, maybe you could pan across that real quick. There you go. Here's Tim's area. Yeah, this is the main cab area. Here's where the goodies happen. Oh dang, he already started slapping up the sticker. I brought him over a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> stickers. So, little merch plug if you guys want. I got all types of stickers, FordArid.com. We'll get your banner up there. Oh, hell yeah. Man, I love that cheek sign. I heard the story and that sign makes everything and it makes the truck even cooler. Yeah, and I actually I had the, I'm sure as you heard, I had the sign before I built the truck. So. Yeah. That's actually how we got the name of Chiching. I love it. I love it. Hey, brought them a little bit more stickers. We'll, we'll probably start making some signs like that on our plasma table eventually. Hell yeah! If we ever get if we ever get a lull in work, we'll we'll know what we can do. There it is. I was telling your guys you should think about going out to the show. So I brought these. It's the Holly Ford Fest. They're doing it in September. Where's this at? It's in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Why has everything got to be so far away? It's just because we're in South Florida. If we, we were could, anywhere else, it's not far. We got to start having some more venues here in South Florida. Yeah, let's do it. I'm down. But uh, if you need, I, I'm going out. I could tow you up there. Yeah. So, yeah. They got a what, burnout competition and everything. Is, I yeah. assume. Only Fords are allowed. Okay. So well, that's the only one we got. There you go. Except, except for the 269 Mustangs outside. LS Fest is uh, two weeks prior. So if you did want to go for LS Fest and stick around or leave the trucks there, um, I could put you in touch with them. They got big areas to like park cars and stuff. So. And that's in October. Yeah, this one's September. Oh, September. Uh, so the LS Fest is early.